Y'all may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, God. God is good. Oh. Amen. Oh. Yes, glory to God. Could you raise your hand and go to God's praise again? Yes, Hallelujah. thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity. God, Jesus. thank you for healing Dougie, Father. Lord, we praise you by your stripes. He is healed. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, Lord, for the healing. For bearing the stripes for his healing. We thank you, Lord God. We praise you. We magnify thy name. Glory to God. Lord, Heavenly Father. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You can have a seat if you can. Glory to God. We have some announcements. Glory to God, this second of October, Sunday night, service will be start back. Amen. Amen. Uh, start back up with new plan of action. we got a new plan of action. Yeah. Amen. At 6 o'clock in the evening, Brother Lewis is going to be preaching. Glory to God. Anybody know who that is? Fly by. Glory to God. Maybe we can, maybe we can get Brother Leon, Brother Leon, the second Sunday evening. Uh, you've been paid. Price was paid 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. He was set free. Yeah. Glory to God. Sister Paula needs to needs to meet me. Meet. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to see that. Glory to God. She needs to meet with us about the Samuel Battalion after after service today. And everybody be here. Glory to God. Don't run away. Uh, I'm sure that that rose will be just fine. Glory to God. She said they'll be she'll be there if you got the road. And night service. There will be no evening service on the third Sunday of the month for leaders to meet. Yeah. Third. Glory to God. Uh, we brought oh, we brought in over five hundred and fifty dollars the month of June. Amen. Glory Get my calculator. That's a building fund. It didn't say it's about building. Yeah, I didn't put the BF on that. Oh. In October the 5th, Wednesday night, we'll be praying and teaching to give the PF as well. What's the topic? Oh, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. I'm still working, but I'm leaning towards the um, uh, huh? Kingdom Men. Well, see the bright lights 
said it's just about home time. <laughs> I can't see. Oh, I can see my father standing by the door. Hallelujah. Glory. Mm. Glory. Glory. Woo. We're not going to let Brother Jim kick this thing off no more. We're just going to let him have the whole thing. Yes, glory. Yes, glory. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Boy. Mm. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Woo-wee. Oh, I'm telling you. Glory, glory, glory. Ah, uh, my, my, my. And the church says, and the church says, and the church says, amen, amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, my God. Mm. Oh, Revelation 3.11 says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which you have. He said, Hold fast. That doesn't mean quickly grab. Hold fast means hold. Hold tight. Do not let go which you have possession of. Hmm. Problem is, Brother Leon, some of us don't know what we possess. I'm sure Dougie can show you. He's been rejoicing all morning. That is exactly what we've been asking for, is people to come in and lay it on the altar. Quit worrying about a process. Quit worrying about a program. Just get up in here and get what God has got. Oh, get in, God. What? Woo. Yes, those who do not receive is because they do not knock. You do not find which you do not seek. We do not receive that which we accept. Has God not said that I give you a good and perfect gift? For if your evil earthly fathers give their children good things, would I, your Father in heaven, not give it to you? You're asking for the rain. God is pouring it out. You're asking for the fire. God is pouring it out. I'm telling you, this little low feeble pea-brained, fleshly bag of whatever cannot contain that which God wants to pour out. But I'm like, God, crush me and pour it out. I don't care what the flesh can handle and what it can't. You made it, you can fix it. If the power comes upon us and the body comes apart, he can put us back together. And we might just be better than we were when he took us apart. But we have to allow. We have to accept. Come on. Come on, somebody. Help me out this morning. Help me out this morning. Oh, Jesus. Let no man take your crown, he says. Let no man, what crown? Your crown of faith, uh, your crown of salvation, your crown of winning souls, uh, your crown of being a witness before those who cannot see. Being that salvation, when you lay hands, the body recovers. The healing virtue will flow through you. It can. It will if you will but let it. I got to I got to stop, Lord. You gotta let me stop. Yes, he does. 
because I have got, I know I ain't got no hat on, but Sister Ann might let me borrow hers, but I take my hat off to this congregation because this morning when a need came through the door, I not only saw the compassion in the faces, Delbert, but I heard it in the cry of those that were going out to the one who was hurting. That is what the church is all about. Delbert turned to me and he said, that, that is the church. And he is correct. We have been training for years and years and years. For what? Just to keep coming through the doors and going home? No! We have been training for years to be a vessel that He flows through. And we think because we get our little spine tickled and our little brain eased that we've... No! 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 That is the, the residue It's just the residue. This is the real McCoy. Ain't no hat fills up in here. It's the real McCoy. Because we're not fighting over a property line. The devil is standing on the other side yelling because the property line is the blood and he can't cross the blood. He can't cross the blood. Otherwise, he ain't Satan no more. I'm telling you, we've got the victory. All we got to do is use it. Understand it and operate in it. We ain't got to pick up the phone and call every time. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's right here. It's right here. What are you waiting on? Get in the well. The waters are being stirred. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm acting like Joseph this morning. Oh, ha, ha. Anybody ever seen swagger? You know Joseph. He, boy, he gets with it. I can't help it. My waters are being stirred. I'm through stirring up old cold dead heads. You either get in or you get out because I'm going to run you over because I ain't sitting biting them all. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm on my way to heaven and the journey gets sweeter every day. Well, mine ain't getting no better. You on the wrong journey. You done loaded the wrong train. I was in a restaurant one day, little bitty twerp. My daddy, my granddaddy, my uncle, we was in a restaurant, old style. Had the old round, I got, hey, we got some of them. Them old round bar stools you walked up on, sat down, they served your food or coffee or whatever. I grabbed my granddaddy's hand, I turned around, he kind of stopped. I'm like, what is wrong with him? I looked up. It wasn't my granddaddy. I had the wrong hand. I was going to the wrong train station. God said, I'm not like that. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. And if you keep holding to that unchanging scarred hand, you will not grab the wrong one. You will not grab the wrong one. See, we think we know God. Oh, I know what God's voice sounds like. Then why are you acting the way you do? Come on, why we keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results? That's insane. That's the definition of insane. And Satan's doing the same thing over and over and over, deceiving God's people. But there's a day of coming. <laughs> Woo! It's a day of reckoning. 
<laughs> oh, some of us need to get on that day of reckoning today. It's when the judgment of God comes and it reveals uh, everything you've done wrong. <laughs> I don't want to leave you there. I don't want to leave you there. It reveals it. But not only does it reveal it, but it washes it all the way to never be seen again until you do it again. Until you do it again. You say, well, I just can't get victory over. You're right. You can't get victory because victory is already yours. You cannot grab what you already possess. If I got biscuit and gravy, I can't get biscuit and gravy because I've already got it. I can just get more of it. I can just get more of it. Hallelujah. Folks, I'm telling you. <laughs> we own the winning side. We own the winning side. We ain't never lost a Super Bowl, Soup Bowl, Cereal Bowl, or any other kind of bowl. Because we're not in the bowl. We're in the clouds with Him. Ah, Hebrews said, such a great cloud of witness. Great cloud of witnesses. Let me give you a little note that it says here. The devil will use religious men to try to move us away from the faith in Christ and the cross. Somebody tell me why. Because we know the lost. Eh, glory. It ain't even noon and I've already got my 10,000 steps. Chasing the dog. Don't be jealous, Mama. I'm ahead of you. Oh, I ain't stopping. I got to have some air. I got to have some air. I got plenty of juice. But the body can't keep up with the spirit. We come to church, and the first thing we need to say is, Lord, my spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. Help thou my flesh. We don't need any more flesh. We don't need any more flesh. See, we wait. We let religious men deter us because we don't expect the enemy to come through one of ours. We recognize the unsaved and know not to listen to them. But, you know, I was, I got to say this. Who were we talking about yesterday? Somebody. And I said, well, they've just been all taught wrong. God's going to have forgiveness on them. And no, He's not. I heard that clear as a bell. I said, but Lord. He said, uh-uh. I gave everybody the Holy Spirit. I gave everybody the Bible. I told every person to study to show thyself approved. He said, I sent my son to teach everybody. They heard the word. They heard the preacher. They could have went and searched it out themselves. I said, God, that's hard. He said, but it's just. He gave everybody the opportunity. Oh, he's talking about my uncle. Because he is rejecting the Holy Spirit. That's what we were talking about. And I said, but Lord, he's been taught by religious men. He's been taught by pastors. Those that are supposed to...
supposed to be of the faith. He said, but did I not give him the same Bible I gave you? I said, but Lord, I understand it. He said, you don't understand nothing without the Holy Spirit because he's the teacher of all things. You didn't learn this on your own. But Lord, I, I took your word and I studied. He said, but without the Holy Spirit. There it is. There it is. Without the Holy Spirit, there is no revelation. I just, do you ever catch yourself going, I don't understand how these guys get all this revelation. Because they study. Because they read the Word. They turn off the TV. Whether if it be in that little square thing we call a phone or if it actually be a TV on the wall. And they get into the things of God. God said, if you want to know my mystery, seek me. And you will find me. Ask for wisdom, James said, and I will give it. We ask for wisdom and then we walk away from the master's desk. And we want to know why. Oh, good Lord, that was stupid. Why did I do that? Because we walked away from the master's place. We come up in on Sunday morning and he puts a smorgasbord of food out here for us. And we're we're down in the carpets, clone, 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 clone. What's that thing you put through your hair that I ain't got? Coleman! Comb in the carpet for the crumbs that have fallen from the master's table when all we got to do, Dougie, is come to the master's table. It's all been supplied. Soon, the master will take his bride to forever be by his side. All the saints of host shall assemble thee. And it won't be at night because the sun, the S-O-N, is brighter than the S-U-N. And the Lamb will be the light. Hey! Come on, somebody. Woo! Do not let man take your crown, including me. But I'm going to tell you what. Don't walk around with it on crooked either. Don't walk around with your crown hung on one of your horns saying, look at my crown. Yeah, the only thing keeping it on is your horns. Come on, somebody. Easy. Whoa, whoa. And he shall go no more. Oops, I missed a verse. I missed a verse. Number 12. Him who overcomes will I make. didn't say. He said he that overcome. Him. Him that overcometh. Do you see it? Do you see it? Him that overcometh. <laughs> Will I make. He did not say him that I cause to overcome. He said him that puts the hand to the battle. Him that grabs up the rifle. Him that takes the sword. Him that fights a good fight. Him that runs a good race. Him, the overcomer, will I make a pillar. Where, 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 where will he make a pillar? In the temple of God. In the temple of God. Folks, it's time we started kicking chairs back, rolling in the floor saying, take me drunk, I'm home. Take me drunk, I'm home. God is pouring out the new wine. Oh, I can't act like that in church. You better start acting like that in church. It's time for the body of God to get drunk on the wine of Him and quit trying to get drunk on the things of the world. The Bible says you cannot keep one hand in the world and one in the kingdom. You've got to resist the world and come into the kingdom. He that 
What does he say? He that dallies, I think is one translation I heard. That's East Texan in case you didn't know. One who dallies in the world does not have a hold on God's kingdom. That's the Word of God. Okay, so I said it a little East Texan, but you get the point. You get the point. Not just the just, you get the whole point. The bow and arrow and everything. What we need is a good dose of the Holy Ghost in our churches again. We need the man of God to walk around with anointing on his hands with people lined up on the front going, I need the dose of the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Ghost comes out of him and falls on them, they know it. They know it. Well, I think I got it. No, you didn't. If you think you got it, you ain't got it. I'm feeling some tingling going on. It's time for the people of God to desire the food of God, the wine of God, pushing off every hindrance, setting aside, Paul said, those weights that so easily beset us. I'm going to borrow a situation between Brother Delbert and my wife. My wife and and she looked at a guy the other day and she said, can you believe we're still married? We're talking about the house. We bought a house and remodeling and can you believe we're still married? Delbert has been frantically working on something and it has consumed his days. He has spent hours. I'm not just talking one, two, three. I'm talking four, five, six hours on a, not at one time. One time was an hour and a half. Second time was 30, or third time was 30 minutes. Second time was an hour and 40 minutes. We sit on the phone to take care of our business, but we do not sit before the throne of God to take care of business. Now, I'm not saying he, that's what he does. I didn't say that. I'm just using his situation. Tanya, this house is driving me batty. Well, guess what? We're driving God batty about worrying about what's going on on earth instead of paying attention what's going on in heaven. He said in his work. Do I act like somebody who's only had about eight hours sleep in three days? Yeah. Because I lost my mind, now he's got it. It's time the church lost her mind. Because if we would lose our mind, we'd take on the mind of Christ. Well, that's good stuff. That is good stuff. I sh I'm going to be like Tanya. I shoot for 12. Maybe we'll get out of here by 1230. We have to stop. And put Matthew 6.33 into perspective. What is important to us? Either the things of this world or the things that are above. He said, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. When was the last time we could tell somebody, you believe in God? Then you can believe in me. We're too busy letting them down. The only person in this world that should ever let us down is our parents and the undertaker. should build one another up in our most what? Holy faith. Where's our holy 
by faith. The holy, only holy thing we got is holy crap. If you don't believe me, listen to your mouth. That if we would put our mind and our affection on things above, Zach called me last night. Oh, he was mad. He thought somebody had done something to his daddy. something happened to me. He thought somebody had done something to us. He thought somebody had took something from his family. I started going, okay, let's play the events. Let's look at the evidence. Let's see what's going on. A wise man seeth trouble. Come on, somebody. Come on. A wise man seeth trouble afar off. And he diverts it's a, what's the other proverb? It's in the heart of a king. To search out the matter. Dougie, we kings. Robert, we're kings. We're not supposed to just jump to conclusions. You women, you're kings too because in heaven there is no gender. I love him. According to man, but God has not changed. God has not changed. Now let me insert something, and I'm going to go on with my, with my sermon. When we start believing that we're gods, we start to alter the nature of God. In gender, and then the next will be in spirit. The devil is on his last leg of this race. And he knows it more than the church does. Because he has recruited everything and everybody that he can to tear down the kingdom of God while the church sings. In the sweet bird, we shall sleep on that beautiful. Come on, somebody. That's not what it says, but that's what we think, isn't it, Brother Tim? Boy, I can't get no sleep down here. I'll sleep when I'm dead. No, you won't, because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Father. But Paul told us that we can be present with the Father here. Why aren't we being present with the Father day in and day out? Oh, that's because we got this stupid thing we call a job. Can I tell you something? If we would be about the Father's business, you wouldn't have to have the job so much. He said to go ye into all the world. Spreading the good news, the gospel. What did the angel say? First time, fear not, for I bring you good. The church has lost its focus. We are no longer bringing the tidings of great joy. Jesus saves. Brother, if you'll give me a thousand dollars, the Lord will just pour out upon you. No! That is witchcraft. That is manipulation operating in the house of God. It's not what you give to get. It's what you give to give. Our bodies don't belong to us. The Bible
Bible says that the woman's body belongs to the husband and the husband belongs to the woman. I'm not talking about earthly affections and attraction. What I'm talking about is the bride of Christ is the woman. It's the church. Its body belongs to the groom. Who's the groom? And the groom belongs to its bride. We're the bride. What does that mean? Dougie, that means if you see me, you better see the Father because we are supposed to be a spitting image of our daddy. Not that God's got two hands, two arms, two eyes, two ears. No, we're made in God's image because God said, let there be. He had the power to create and to curse. Sound familiar? You have the power to create or to curse. I got to get back to my text. So I got to finish. I want to finish this. In the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, refers to a constant position in the presence of God. You know what I just said? And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, New Jerusalem. which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Some of us need to forget our former name and our former self and realize that we are bought with a price. We have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We are no longer licensed to live according to a non-blood-bought believer, but to begin to function as the unction. <laughs> Some, oh, hallelujah. It's time to put the unction back in your function. Who's the unction in your function? The Holy Spirit. Oh, but if we don't believe in Him, Baby, you better. Baby, you better. I curse that knot in the back of that baby right there. Mm. God, you didn't say we had a beggar plea. You said speak the word. And your word said, we are healed. No more drugs, no more doctors, no more pricking. Done in the name of Jesus. 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 I think we get a better, bit better laugh and uh, 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 rejoice when somebody falls down. Tanya, hear that giggle? <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. I told Zach, I said, okay, we've played out. Do we know for a fact somebody, Chris, running around, was sitting on the couch? And I know now why my heart goes out to him and his mom. They're the only two that I know. They have beat met. He said, I was on it three years. I lost my mother twice. One to it and second to get away from us so that she could get sober. He gave a little testimony to me sitting open his Open his heart up a little bit to me. I just knew his mother.
mother had been doing real good. Every time she would wait on me, God say, bless her. I'm like, I don't know her. She ain't saved. I ain't wasting my money in unfertile ground. He said, took me back to when he took Peter up on the roof. And he said, if I made anything unclean. I said, but Lord, she don't live with you. We do that, don't we? We segregate. I said it. We segregate. We get sad for people and then segregate them. Because they don't live like us. They don't believe like us. We got racism in the church, and I'm not talking about skin color. It's called denomination. Well, we just don't interpret. I heard somebody else say, I think it was my dad said, we've got the same spirit, the same father, the same Jesus that was baptized, the same Holy Spirit, the same word of God. How come we interpret it all so different? I was listening to what Brother Jim said. Victory to one man may mean one thing, and victory to another woman or man may mean something else. That's why God gave us Webster. Because we who are not led by... We're left to our own devices. Verse 13, he who was, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Mm. Folks, there's a time, there's a time a-coming. <laughs> there's a time a-coming when the battle will be over. I set you up, and I'm sorry, because <laughs> you're going to be mad at me when I say it. When you are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, the battle is over because you belong to God, and you were blood-bought, washed in the blood, and Satan can't touch you. All he can do is scream and holler. There ain't no battle when you know whose you are. You say, now I might have to fight cancer. No, you don't. Wait a minute. The doctor says, be strong and fight this thing. Do you believe in God? Believe also in me. For the peace that I give you, the world can give it. <laughs> the world can't take it away. We can change the wording for the healing that I gave you. The world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. This joy that I found, the world didn't give it to me. Oh, and the world can't take it away. Cancer is something of this world, but our hope is in yonder. It's in Christ. Even if you die of cancer, you are saved. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. If I die in a car wreck today, to be absent from here is to be present with the Lord. I feel sorry for you suckers when I'm gone. Because, baby, when I leave out, rejoice, I'm a leaving like Elijah. I'm going out in a chariot of fire. You may not see it, but I did. I will. Oh, you can't go out like Elijah. It's subject to every man. I didn't say I wouldn't be dead. I just said when that death angel comes. <laughs> God's sending my own personal chariot after me. And it's a chariot of fire. Woo! And I tell you what. <laughs> When the mantle drops, 
somebody better pick it up because there's more than a double portion falling off of me because I got more than a double portion on me. God gave me my daddy's. God gave me my daddy's daddy. God gave me my daddy's 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 daddy's. God has given me all the way back to the sun because he that the sun has set free is free indeed. There's no more change. That means no more curses, no more death, no more fear, no more sickness. I don't battle with the back. Yeah, it hurts. I don't battle with it. I just tell it, Leon, you better line up. God said you got to. He's bigger than I am. I, this ain't me saying it. Back says, I don't know who you think you are. Let me tell you who I am. Let me tell you who I am. My name on earth may be William Brian Garment, but in heaven, my name is whoever he calls me, son of the living God. My last name is son of the living God. My last name is king of kings, kids. My name is Lord of lords, kid. My name is victorious, kid of kings. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Woo. Oh, you're not catching on. You will. You will. Chapter 21 in the book of Revelation. In the 20th chapter, it talks about the great white throne. It talks about our names being written down in the Lamb's book of life. When revival comes, it comes on the heels of judgment of the church. Because revival can't come into an unpure thing. You say, now preacher, that, that, that you, you have lost your... Last week you told us that even if we're doing good, we're sinning. Yes, I did. Because... If you're not obeying God, it's sin. But God told us to study our word, but not if he told you to be on your knees. He wants to talk to you. He's got something he wants to say. Well, I get on my knees. That's good. That's good. That's real good. But are you supposed to be fasting instead? Are you supposed to be praying and fasting? Well, I just can't seem to break through because you don't know whose you are. You haven't conquered the fact that sin exists, but the cross is greater. I had a conversation with a young lady one time. I said, are you saved? Were you saved? She said, I was saved. I said, are you now? She stood there a minute. She goes, well, no, I guess I'm not. And I said, you're in church? Then why aren't you? I don't know. The church has got to purify itself. So when the fire of revival and the watering of the Spirit, people will respond. We're not bringing in because we're not pure representation. Uh, we will never be. I disagree. The Bible says to become perfect even as He is perfect. Oh, but that means mature. Then grow up. Then mature. If mature means perfect, then what's perfect? Well, perfect means no flaws. In the eyes.
presence of God, we are perfect through the blood of Christ. It's the cross. It's not our works. Our works does not produce salvation. Our, pro, our salvation produces spiritual works. Verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The Greek word means freshness with respect to age. We never gonna get old. We never gonna get old. We're in relation. Uh, go, regular, would y'all just give me a Revelations twenty one, verse one. Revelations. We're in Revelations, y'all. For the first heaven. And the first earth were passed away. How many remember when you first got saved, when you opened the door and threw open the curtains, it looked like a brand new world outside. Now it just looks all dingy and gray, and you're just all, all bent out of shape with your fork face. Oh, but when we got saved, our eyes sparkled. We had a spring in the step, had a smile on our face, and everybody we encountered, we said, love you, brother. Bless you, brother. Bless you, sister. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bless your heart. I'll pray right now in the middle of Walmart. And now that we are 20, 10, 2, 1 years old, oh, forget that. Man, I ain't praying up in here. What's wrong with you? People are going to see me. People saw you six months ago. When the joy of the Lord of your fresh salvation was there, you had the passing of the old world and a new one coming right then. We keep looking for the future, but it's already come to our salvation. Now, I'm not talking about... Don't don't take that out of context. Okay, i got to finish, got to finish. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw that holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Well, glory. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. For her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Folks, what is going on here? God sent his son to be God till God comes. Why are we still looking for the Son of God to come when he should already have come? Jews are still looking for the Messiah to come. We get saved, the Messiah is all over us. And we lose him somewhere along the way because we start looking for the Messiah again. Robert, we got him. He did not turn us loose. But we cut him loose. And you know what's so great, Brother Jim? He's really only about that far away from us when we cut him loose. Because all we got to do is say, where you at, Daddy? He said, I'm right here. I'm right here. I did something stupid, Daddy. That's okay. Come on, my son. Get up. Dust yourself off. Because you made a mistake. doesn't mean you lost. Mistakes are sin, but sin is habitual. Come on, are you listening to me? Are you hearing me this morning? We're going to make mistakes. Mistakes means we're, we're building our education of learning. But when we're habitual sinners, how about we just...
just keep rejecting the presence of the Holy Spirit and keep saying, oh no, Lord, oh no, you're not baptizing me. I'm not talking in tongues. Oh no, you're not going to cause me to do it. That's rebellion, and rebellion's a sin. He keeps producing it and offering. That's the word I'm looking for. He's done produced it a long time ago. It don't have to be reproduced. It's it. <laughs> I got you. He just keeps introducing and offering and giving, and you keep pushing and you keep pushing and you keep pushing. One of these days, one of these days, you're going to find out why all the others been baptized and filled to overflowing because when the battle gets hot it ain't the man who begins to fight the word of God said and the spirit begin to utter with sounds and groans that we could not say and the battle does not go on in flesh it goes out of the spirit oh 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 Well, Pastor, the Bible says not every man will be. Uh uh, that's not what it says. That's not what it says. Well, yeah, yeah, it does too. It's point blank. In, in, in Second Chronicles, will everyone speak in tongues? It also says, will every man interpret? It also says, will every man heal? Will every man. Come on. Well, I, the speaking in tongues is not my gift. No, it's your obligation when you get your prayer closet. There's a difference in talking in tongues in a group than it is to having your prayer language. We haven't taught that in our church. Everyone thinks that both are the same. Mm -mm. Your prayer language... Well, I just don't lay hands on people because I just don't have the gift of healing. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? You laid your hands on somebody. Oh, no, I scarred. It's like that little baby. Mama said, touch her. She saw, oh, oh, I scarred. The Holy Ghost all over me. I may put my hands on that little girl and she may sit up in that little bitty coffin. That little, that little china doll may come to life and I'm leaving this body. My spirit will be standing before the Father. My flesh will be piled in the floor. Because I promise you, I'm leaving. My daddy would say, count me gone. Immaturity. Unperfect. Oh, but now that I've grown up in God, just give me that chance to lay my hands on one. Just give me that opportunity. My wife was working in the funeral home, and the church came in. They said, can we see the body? She said, I don't know what they're going to do, but that body done dead and empty. She meant two ways. The spirit was gone, and so were all the organs. But they had enough confidence. Enough stupidity, I call it, to believe even though the temple is empty, God could still raise it up. Do we have that same faith? Do we still have? And I know what my wife is getting ready. Go ahead, honey. Bring her on. Bring her on. She told she, our kids, said, we, we, will y'all keep the grandbaby this week? Grandma said, we sure will. And I'm taking her in front of the church. We're going to lay hands on her. We're going to get that knot. We're going to get that knot out of there. We're going to get that spot. It one time looked like a spider bite. Y'all know how a brown recruit looks? How it starts eating and the skin turns yellow and it's like the, like the, it's just, uh, what is that word called? Huh? Necrosis. The skin is just rotting in a way. Now she's got a, got a knot. She's got a knot. I want to know if it's gone. Because if it
it still physically manifested, I'm going to pray it. Dougie, I'm just stupid enough to believe God will take it completely away by the laying on of hands. By the laying on of hands. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. We have worked this thing up. Somebody said the other day, our numbers are falling off again. No, they're not. God is bringing the nucleus to build from. Those that do not believe can't stay. They cannot stay. Pull a little top. Pull a little top. What? There it is. There it is. Look at that knot. Folks, I need somebody. I need those who are not scared to believe it can be done instantaneously because the mama and the daddy are lost. And we need them to come into the ship. We need them to come into the ark. We need them to come in. Oh, hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that which is here, you said in your word, is turned to good. It never was meant for evil. It shall be turned to good because it is good according to your name, according to your purpose, because we are the elect. We are a holy nation, a royal priesthood. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ooh. Shandalama Kandaloya Shiki Rondalama Sandalahika no no mo Sandamakiata Yora Sakai Hinalamakai Yandalobo Sandalamaha Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Silver and gold. Medical degrees. Mm. Knowledge of science. I have not. But such as I have, in the power of the name of Jesus Christ of Lazarus. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. Be gone. Be gone. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. else want something from God? Anybody else want something from God? Yeah, yeah. The key word there was not need, but just won't. Just won't. I'm just a blanketing. I'm just blanketing it. 
It may be whatever. It doesn't matter. Who wants to receive from God? Mama would like to meet with y'all for just a moment. 